Hi, my name's Anissa Druji. I'm from Streatham. I was born here. My family originate from Mauritius and Trinidad. I just wanted to create something that could help other people express themselves or at least see something in the images that they could relate to or want to connect to. But ultimately, I just wanted something that would show a series of images that express quite deep emotion, togetherness, unity. It's how regular people can be quite great and inspirational, people that we don't get a chance to see. I only started training like a year and a half ago, actually. Before then, I was playing uh, wheelchair rugby league for England. I thought I'd just do, start jiu-jitsu as sort of a, a bit of extra fitness or something fun sort of to do on the side when I wasn't training. Instantly fell in love with it. I just went all, all into it and started training six, seven days a week. My name is Chanel Dyer. I'm from West London. I compete in MMA now. I do professional Muay Thai, regularly in jiu-jitsu as well. When I met Anissa, um, she said she was going to photograph me. And this was my first ever time being photographed in such an intimate way. For her to bring out my vulnerable side, especially as a fighter, we don't really get to portray that online or to the public eye. In the way that Anissa has been able to capture everything, bring everybody together from all different walks of life through her imagery, that is amazing. I don't think she even realised right now how amazing the work is that she's doing and how much she's, she's actually helping. Everybody is one. And it don't matter what walk of life you come from, what the colour of your skin is, what it is, we're all one, under one banner. Powerful like meaning, messages to people, inspirational, so it's people like a direction or like what they can achieve. I think it's just like greatness as well, like just shows like what people have achieved and what people have done. A lot of people could be on the wrong path right now if it weren't for combat sports. Obviously like when I was younger, I didn't have the same message that I could go give to people now. Try to give like be a sort of inspiration to younger, younger people and stuff. It's very humbling to be asked to be a part of it. It's, it's quite a vulnerable thing to be asked. You get a fight picture, so it's a fight picture. It's you with a pair of gloves on looking angry. When someone tells you that they don't want that, that they actually want a picture of you, um, it's a little bit intimidating, um, to be honest. Seeing it, it sort of makes me feel a little bit silly for being, uh, feeling a little bit intimidated by it. But yeah, I, I feel, feel great that I've seen it. And like I said, amazing that I've been part of it. I'm 13 and I started martial arts when I was about four years old, my, my dad got me into it and then, yeah, just kept going. Happy to be part of this project of Vanessa and I'm really proud to be here and have my picture shown to a lot of people around here. I think everybody can see a bit of themselves with each picture, so only positive things can come from it. I'm the head coach and founder of a, a Muay Thai gym and a lot of my fighters are featured here today. A big impact on our community in, in steering life to, to go in the right direction, giving discipline, focus, and uh, a sense of um, belonging as well. I got to know about this project through Anissa about empowering people to do a lot more for themselves. And for me, it was an opportunity to give something back to the local community in Streatham. It's almost like a solidarity within, amongst the community. It shows that we all have emotions and we've all go through tribulations. It unites all of us in the sense that it's like it's the same struggle. It's like we're all going through the same struggle. Reading some of the, the stories is so beautiful and it shows that there's always something we can do in a situation. And I think Anissa is the person who was able to capture that. And with her passion and her, her love for people, she's gone out there and she's been able to like touch the hearts and allow us to open ourselves up and to express ourselves. There's a beauty in the struggle and I feel like bringing this together and showing the struggle actually shows the beauty in the human life.